what's going on people your boy man mike coming at you guys with atlanta falcons news all right the issue yesterday with arthur smith and jeff schultz and a lot of people got in their feelings you know let's just keep it a lot of people got in their feelings about you know arthur smith pretty much calling out a lot of fans including a lot of these beat reporters that got all these brilliant ideas and what the atlanta falcons shouldn't shouldn't do um Pretty much calls like a lot of these people, you know, he, he, he calls them some Twitter gems and people coming up with these asinine uh, statements and ideas of what the Atlanta Falcons should do. And he just got tired of it. He was asked about Des Merida and why and what's the, you know, the plan for uh, Des Merida and, you know, what they think and how many snaps he needs to get in. And totally disrespecting the fact that he's not the starter disrespectful towards Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota is the starter for the Atlanta Falcons. So the Falcons are focused on not only game one, but they're focused on the star. Yeah, that's a problem. So my quick take on that, just stop. You guys are absolutely asinine. You're worried about shit that ain't got nothing to do with the Saints. We need to be focused on the Saints. We need to figure out what the hell Marcus Mariota is for this Atlanta team. And if he is or isn't that guy. So why would we focus on Desmond Ritter? He's the backup. Desmond Ritter, uh, uh, Marcus Mariota is the starter. And Desmond Ritter more than likely will not see a lot of snaps. So like I said, I'm, I'm down with it, man. And at the end of the day, he called you people out. He called you out on your bull crap about whether or not you guys know what the hell you're talking about as far as putting these teams together and having all these deals. You need brilliant. Falcon need to sign that person. We need to draft this guy. We need to tank on purpose. Look, he doesn't want to hear that shit. He's into coaching right now. So with that being said, go to the next. Um, and the next one is all about the NFL. Well, the Atlanta Falcon, they dropped their depth chart. And the starter for the Atlanta Falcons, the wide receiver, are Drake London, as well as Alamade Zacchaeus. You got Caleb McGarry starting that right tackle, right guard, Chris Lindstrom. And the new center for the Atlanta Falcons, starting center, Drew Dahlman. Yes, that is right. Um, Matt Hennessy lost his job to Drew Dahlman. Um, and the left guard at the moment is Elijah Wilkerson. Obviously, the left tackle is Jake Matthews. Uh, Kyle Pitts, the tight end. Uh, Parker Hesse, Felipe Franks are his backups. Uh, the starting running back for the Atlanta Falcons are Cordero Patterson, Damian Williams, Tyler Argier, as well as Avery Williams as the fourth and reserved um, guy. Um, but Keith Smith is starting fullback, and Marcus Mariota is the starter. Desmond Ritter, the backup. Uh, defensively, for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, and I think this is something, um, obviously, uh, when we look at it, um, I don't think it's a lot of surprises. Grady Jerry, Anthony Rush, Taquan Graham, Ogum Daisy, Mike Walker, Evans, Lorenzo Carter, AJ Terrell, Richie Grant, Jalen Hawkins, Casey. So it's not a lot of, uh, you know, surprise as far as the, the defense is concerned. Um, it, the starters and pretty much everything is intact. The special teams, cool. Obviously, it's the kicker, Bradley Pinion. Uh, Leon McCullough, the long snapper. Uh, the holder, Pinion, as well as Avery Williams is the kick and punt returner. So, that's not a lot of change as far as that. But as far as the, you know, the depth is concerned, uh, the depth chart is concerned, the only really major one personally it's all about Drew Dorman. I think, you know, at the end of the day, Arthur wants his guys. And uh, and quite frankly, in my humble opinion, he wants that aggression. He wants a guy in the running game that's going to be that damn good. And one thing about Drew Dorman is he's come out and he's asserted himself with that physicality and the ability to get to the second level. That's what I'm seeing from Drew Dahlman. I think he's ready to take over the helm for the Atlanta Falcons in the, um, you know, the running game. I know a lot of people are focused on the pass protection. I think he's improved for the most part. Uh, we got to see what happens as far as the physicality. Uh, can he go up against guys like uh, Vita Vey? Um, that's still, you know, uh, an area that he needs to improve on. The Falcons need to improve on as far as their, um, their, 
uh, pass protection in the middle of, of, of the field. We'll see what happens with Matt Hennessy. Will he compete for the left guard position with Elijah Wilkinson? Jalen Mayfield is still out. Um, he's out for the first four games or so with an injury, uh, with a back injury. Um, so he won't be back in, in, in quite some time. But right now, uh, Elijah Wilkinson is the starter at left guard. Drew Dahlman is the starter at center. Let me know what you guys think about that. This has been your boy, Mad Mike, with another Atlanta Falcons news update, man. Check us out tonight. Six-man K-Styles. I'm out. Peace.